happened at the bar last night. Yes. yes! Do you know how many people I kill in my poems? <laughs> <laughs> what about the word commitment do you not understand? Too many letters? Not enough pictures? Was it not on the cover of I'm a Dumb Witch magazine? Now, I'm a feminist, so I generally refrain from using the B word in spirit of sisterhood, but sister, just because you're a feminist does not mean I won't cut a bitch. <laughs> you are not subtle. There's no, you are not, uh, there's nothing subtle about drunkenly pulling my boyfriend aside to confess your moral dilemma to blow or not blow. Ask me what light through yonder window breaks, it will be your fucking face. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm probably going too far. You are only flirting. Let me retract my nails. Let go of your ponytail to ask you, as a woman, do not do this. I trust my lovers far more than you trust your pheromones, but you are temptation after a fight. You are one more drink at the bar. You are the uncomfortable silence in the car ride home. You are a crowbar between us in bed. My doubt when his hands are open, but his eyes are closed. You are his cold feet tripping down the aisle. You are standing on the altar licking his earlobe. You are lipstick stains, late night phone calls, flowers that don't know my name. You, sweetheart, are the love poem he said he wrote for me. Please, relationships are hard enough. People are so fucked up these days. Dating is like finding the least rusted bear trap around the ankles of someone you just might be able to look at for the rest of your life. <laughs> Intimacy. Intimacy is the art of licking wounds. And it's taken me years to let anyone kiss me when my lips were chapped. Thank you.